fighting terrorism in terms of blaming one or the other is not the way out. As I said earlier, Afghanistan is the victim and the biggest victim. It is out of question for one to believe a country having suffered for decades at the hands of terrorism and terrorists would be in cahoot with terrorists or be providing training grounds to terrorists because we are the biggest test in terms of the destruction that we suffered, that we saw in our country. So we hope that for all these reasons that Afghanistan has gone through when it comes to the effect of terrorism and the destruction that we suffered, that Afghanistan not be blamed, that Afghanistan be called as the biggest victim, that Afghanistan will be called the most sincere ally in the war against terrorism. Therefore, uh, rather than blaming Afghanistan or any other country, it's best to focus on fighting terrorism the way it is required, which is not to distinguish between terrorists, which is not to use terrorism as a, ter as a tool for political gains. It is not to have a double standard of all sides when it, fi when it comes to fighting terrorism because we believe it is a fight for all, including Pakistan. India has gone out of its way in the last many years, especially after 2001. India's assistance is very visible. In Afghanistan, when it comes to reconstruction, when it comes to humanitarian assistance, when it comes to training, when it comes to when it comes to capacity building of Afghan youth. And because this has happened due to the common interests of the two countries, which is stability in Afghanistan, stability in India. Therefore, India's investment India's assistance in Afghanistan is highly appreciated.